Sierra and my other friend was already in the car and they're like, Kristen, get in the car! Get in the car! And I was still yelling at Evan. I was like, this is why I don't fuck with you! And they're like, Kristen, just get in the car! And I was like, okay, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kristen. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. On this channel, I like doing a lot of makeup tutorials, product reviews, story times, fashion lookbooks, and some ranting, venting videos. So if you want to see more of that and more of me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the Cupcake family, hit that notification button, and give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like these types of videos. In this video, I'm going to be telling the story of the time a Vegas promoter told me he loved me. Yeah. Okay, so this story takes place around two years ago. Me and my best friend Sierra decided to go to Vegas for a couple days. And I remember this happening around the time of EDC because my friends from San Francisco went to EDC and then we met up with them a little later in the week. If you watched my first story time about um, that guy who went cray cray on my ass, it's the same friends that was mentioned in that video. So I believe I named them Brenda, her boyfriend Andrew, and their roommate Corey. One night when me and Sierra decided to go to this club Hakkasan, Andrew and Corey texted us saying that, that they were there, so we met up with them, said hi real quick. I don't know where Brenda was. I think maybe she was back at the hotel with her friends, or maybe she was at another club, but we did not see her there. Andrew and Corey were taking shots, and I think we didn't want to take shots. I don't know. We were just in a weird mood. Like, I don't know if it was because we were there for a couple days already, and so we were over the whole club scene or if maybe we were walking around the strip all day and it was hot and you know how like it, you get tired from like all that heat so me and Sierra weren't feeling it we low-key just wanted to go home like as soon as we walked into the club the music wasn't good I think they were playing EDM or something because I feel like if they were playing hip-hop Sierra would have been in a better mood because she gets cranky when they play EDM and it was fucking cold up in there we just weren't having a good time but since we waited in line to get in for a while, well actually I don't think we waited that long, but since we were already there, we were trying to have a good time. So we were just watching the DJ and not like really dancing because we don't really know how to dance to EDM. So we were kind of just like, like this. And every now and then a hip hop song or trap song would come on. So we would be like, and then it would go back to an EDM song and we're just like, I legit was ready to go back until this guy approaches me, okay? So let me describe to you what this dude looks like. He was about, I'm gonna say 5'8"? I don't know, this was two years ago, but I'm gonna say he's probably around 5'8 because he's Asian and like Asians, I don't know, they usually tend to be around 5'8, yeah. And he was wearing this nice tux or suit and it was black or navy blue and he had like some nice shoes on and he had like a nice haircut but yeah we're just gonna call him Evan for the sake of this video so Evan comes up to me and he's like hey do you guys want to go to a table and I look at Sierra and I'm like do you want to go we can get some drinks we can you know try to have a good time and she's like sure so he walks us to the table so he's like walking us around I don't know if y'all have been to Hakkasan, but the way it's set up, it's like a dance floor in the middle and then like tables all around and then there's like a hallway around that and then some more tables. So it's kind of like this like big circle thing, right? So we were standing kind of in that little like hallway, not hallway, but that little like aisle, walking aisle. And we were like around here around some tables and he's like leading us around and brings us to this table over here. So he brings us to the table, we get inside, and then he kind of walks away and goes back onto the walking aisle or somewhere on the dance floor. I don't even know where he went. But automatically, it was kind of awkward once we got to the table because I think they were all men and we were like the only two girls there so we felt weird and they tried to offer us a drink but i think we denied them because we decided to just leave so not even five minutes later we were like do you want to go back to the hotel and she's like yeah so we tell the guy to let us out and we're just walking and the promoter sees us and he's like where are you guys going and i'm like we're just really tired we walked around all day so we just want to go back to the hotel and sleep he's like only 12 right now and I'm like yeah we're, we just can't hang so he just says to get his number down so that he can get us into some other clubs later in the week so as I'm getting his number and talking to him I like see his face and I'm like oh this guy pretty cute okay so after I get his number 
me and Sierra leave the club and honestly I don't really remember what happens after that I think we just went back to the hotel took off our makeup got in our jammies and went to bed next day rolls around Evan texts me if we want to go to this club called excess and also if you wanted to go to dinner and I was like shoes are free and he's like yeah everything's complimentary I can even pick you guys up and I was like you had me at free. Time comes around where we need to get ready. So since it was so hot in Vegas, me and Sierra actually would do our makeup twice a day. So we would do it in the morning, go walk around, do shit, and then when nighttime hits, we would take off our makeup and then reapply that shit because when you're in the heat and you're sweating, like your makeup just gets so oily and like putty and gross so we just decided to do that shit again and i text evan and tell him that we're almost ready to get picked up so we finish up getting ready then we go downstairs and we go outside and wait for him so a couple minutes later he pulls up in his nice ass car i don't remember what car but i just remember it was nice and i'm like shotgun because i'm like this guy's fucking cute so like i'm gonna shoot my shot okay so i sit in front and i kind of felt bad for leaving sierra back there by herself but i was like you know what you just need to be a good wing woman right now because y'all if you only knew so we drive away and i start asking evan all these questions like where the clubs are where the restaurants are what type of food it is and then just asking a bunch of random questions so we get to the hotel and i remember walking through these big gold framed doors that were heavy as fuck and then there's like a huge red carpet with butterflies on it and some gold diamond pattern on it and then when you look to the left there's like huge butterfly statue things on the wall butterflies hanging from the ceiling and there's just like a whole bunch of butterflies right so if you guys know i think like each hotel has their own theme and stuff but this specific hotel had like a bunch of butterflies so we walk like 20 feet and we meet up with a bunch of other people so i guess there was other promoters and then some other people that they brought as their guests so the host comes out and she's like your table is ready so we all get ready to go inside and as i'm walking inside it's hella fucking fancy okay me and sarah are like holy motherfucking fuck this shit is so fancy like there were like fancy ass lights nice table sets fancy chairs flower chandeliers and like sparkly things we were just like okay i'm feeling real bougie right now the waiter comes to our table and asks us if we want anything to drink and me and sierra order some alcoholic drink i don't remember exactly what i got it was probably like a moscow mule or something basic like vodka lemonade or some shit and then i don't remember what she got since we didn't have any food in our system we were already getting a little litty sipping on our drinks we were just like where's the menu and I guess there was a piece of paper in the middle of the table and it had a menu of what's already going to be served. So it was like a preset dinner and we were reading that shit. It was hella fancy like appetizer, salad mixed with arugula, diced cherry tomatoes drizzled with balsamic vinegar and sprinkled with feta cheese. This shit's fancy as fuck. Why they gotta make the menu sound all central and shit? So they bring out the salad, right? I actually don't even remember what type of salad it was. I just made that shit up. But um, the salad was so good. Like, I don't know if I was just really hungry. And then they brought out their first course, which was salmon with greens, I think. That was so motherfucking bomb. Um, and I don't remember what the second course was. And I don't remember what the dessert was. I think the dessert was some type of donut with ice cream or something. The whole meal was on point, basically. Finishing up our meal and me and Sierra decided to go to the bathroom. And I come out and I start washing my hands. I pick up a towel next to me to wipe my hands and I'm like, holy motherfucking shit. This shit is so fancy. This is like 10 ply. I low key want to keep this and put it in my bag because I feel bad for throwing it away after just drying my hands. But I guess that's just like... I don't know, maybe it's just a rich people thing. So, yeah, I really did feel bad for throwing away that napkin. But <laughs> we go back outside. Everything's paid for. All they have to do is pay for the tip. And then we bounce and then walk over to the club, which was in the same hotel. So he leads us to this table, and it's all nice, and pour starts pouring us drink. We start hanging, and he sits next to me and starts talking to me. And I'm just really smitten by this guy because he's cute, and I just get that way around cute guys. And, like, I was stupid, okay? 
So we start having a little conversation and I'm just like, okay, this guy's really cute. He's really cool. He's the best promoter we've met yet. Bringing us to fucking dinner and shit. We have never experienced that. We we thought we were the shit for that. We thought we were the only ones. Like we thought we were so lucky. But um, no, no, I think I think other promoters do that. <laughs> the poison drinks, we get a little lit, and if you know us, we do not like staying at tables. We only go to the table to get drinks, get lit, and then go into the dance floor. So that's exactly what we did. So I asked Evan if he wanted to go with us on the dance floor. He said yes, so we started dancing and whatnot, and then my friends hit me up. And they were actually outside where the pool was. And so we met up with them. My friend was drunk as fuck. Just laying on the little bed while his girlfriend was on some like unicorn floaty. Having a good ass time. Like what? And her boyfriend's over here on the side like about to fucking die. So I was like, do you want some water? And he's like, yeah. So I turned to Evan and I'm like, can you get us some water? <laughs> Because he can get complimentary water since he's a promoter. Honestly, that's kind of all I really remember. Next day rolls around, we want to go to another club. So we hit Evan up because our experience was so good. We're just like, we gotta go with this promoter again. So we tell Evan, we're gonna go get tacos if you want to come with us. And then we can like go straight with you to the club. So he agreed to that. We went to some Mexican restaurant. I don't remember which one. And I honestly don't even remember if the food was good. But we were craving some tacos. But once we got there, it was a weird situation. Because me and Sierra know each other really well. But we don't really know this guy very well. So we were asking him questions and trying to have a conversation. But since he's kind of quiet, it seemed like he was shy. And he wasn't really expanding on his answer. So it was low-key kind of awkward. But yeah, we got through it. And then we went to... Um, One Oak, which I didn't even know that was what the club was called. I really thought I was in a different club, but some people who were involved in the story confirmed that it was One Oak. When we got there, it was weird because it seemed like Evan didn't really want to talk to me and was trying to avoid me. So I just decided to go sit down and just do my own thing with Sierra. And every now and then we would go to the dance floor and come back and sit and dance and go back onto the dance floor and just basically doing our own thing. Like the whole time, me and Evan, Sierra and Evan didn't talk at all. So it was kind of weird. There was barely any alcohol at the table. I don't even think me and Sierra were lit. We were just kind of chilling. And so the night goes by and Evan asked if we want to go to a strip club. And I'm like, um, okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care. Yeah, we can go. So we're walking out of the hotel and we get into his car and we're on the way to the strip club. So at first we go in with a group of people and we all just sit down in like these random chairs. I guess some people call us over and bring us into another room. So it was a separate room with its own bar and its own strip pool and everything. And it was just me, Sierra, Evan, and a group of other people that we didn't know. So one of his friends, we'll call him um, Dimitri. Dimitri was talking to Sierra and was trying to get at her. And I was sitting next to Evan and he's just getting real close to me. At this time, Evan is becoming really touchy, sitting really close to me, putting his arm around me, cuddling me, and we're just being all cute and shit. As this is happening, Evan's friend Dimitri is talking to Sierra and he's trying to spit some game at her, but she's just not feeling him. But she talks to him anyway because she's bored and I'm over here talking to Evan. So I'm talking to Evan or whatever and I look over and Sierra is not there. Sierra decides to get up and go get some food or go to the bathroom or something. Oh yeah, I remember she went to the bathroom because I remember meeting up with her after. So while she was in the bathroom, Evan is super close to my face and he goes, I love you. And I was like, what? He goes, I love you. And I was like, no you don't. And he's like, yeah, I, I really do. Do you believe in love at first sight? I think I love you. And I was like, what the fuck? No, you don't. You don't love me. And he's like, what? And I was like, you don't love me. He's like, what do you, he's like, I didn't say that. And I was like, yeah, you did. He's like, no, I didn't. You're being weird. And I was like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna ignore that and pretend you didn't say that. I'm just gonna pretend nothing ever happened because you're really drunk right now. I'm just gonna continue to have a good time and sip my drink. So we're listening to music, we're dancing a little bit. And then he turns over and he's like, I love you. And I was like, Okay, how? How do you love me? He's like, what? I didn't say I love you. And I was like, you just... 
Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you again. I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so for the third time, he says it, right? And I'm like, oh my god, can you not? He's like, what? What am I doing? And I was like, can you? You're just being weird right now. Like, I can't tell if you're playing with me. I can't tell if you're fucking with me. He's like, what do you mean? What did I say? And I was like, you said that you loved me. He's like, what? I didn't say that. And I was like, you keep saying that. Like, you keep, uh, okay, whatever, whatever, right? And he's like, wait, why, why, why are you, why are you mad? And I was like, I'm not even going to tell you. He's like, why, why, why aren't you telling me? And I was like, because you're not going to remember. He's like, I'll remember, I swear, just tell me. And I was like, you said you loved me. I said, how? And then you keep saying that you didn't say that. And he's like, I don't remember saying that. And I was like, see? <laughs> you keep saying that. And he was like, okay, but like, why are you mad though? And I was like, I just told you. And he was like, can you tell me again? I was like, no, because you're just going to forget. He was like, no, I swear. I swear. And I was like, no, you already forgot before. He's like, okay, for real this time, like, I'm not going to forget. Right? <sighs> My dumb ass decides to explain this shit to him again. Guess motherfucking what he forgets so i was like you know what i'm done with this conversation i need to get up and just fucking leave because you're just like irritating the fuck out of me i don't even say anything to him i just walk up and go to the bathroom and meet sierra in the bathroom and i was like can we just fucking go i'm so annoyed right now she's like why and i was like because he just told me he loved me and then it was being fucking weird about it because every time i would ask he would forget and basically just told her the whole thing that happened and she was like what the fuck okay yeah let's just go right now came around and was like around like the bathroom area so he was like oh where are you guys going i was like we're gonna leave right now because um evan's just being super weird and he's like oh no just stay guys just stay and i was like no we're, we're just gonna go and he's like well at least tell evan that you're leaving and i was like no i feel like he's not even gonna know he's super drunk right now he's like no just just be nice and tell him that you're leaving and i was like fine so i go over to him and i'm like hey we're gonna leave right now he's like why and he starts like pulling on my arm like trying to hold my hand and stuff and i'm like because i'm just we're just not feeling it he's like why not and i was like because you're just being really weird right now like you're super drunk you don't know what you're saying he's like what are you talking about i'm like we're just gonna go because you can't remember anything that I'm saying right now. And he goes, okay, fine. And I'm like, okay, why are you being all mad? He's like, just, just don't talk to me. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. So then I leave, right? And then he gets up too and starts walking away hella fucking fast, speed walking to the exit. And I'm like, why the fuck are you mad? I don't remember. This This is where it starts to get blurry, okay? I think I was trying to, to stop him and like, I don't know, knowing me, I was probably trying to apologize or some shit, which he should have been apologizing to me. And I think he got in his car and drove away and I'm was like okay so i'm this is dangerous because he's driving drunk but i'm kind of scared and um he called me and i ignored his call and then he texted me asking why i was ignoring his call i didn't text him back he called again i didn't answer and so i was like okay we're just gonna go around the corner and hopefully he doesn't come back and see us and so i squat down and sierra's still standing up like right next to me, but I squat down because my feet were hurting and I start calling the Uber. I keep looking up from my phone on this side because this is the direction that he left and I wasn't sure if he was going to come back. And a couple minutes later, Sierra goes, oh shit, look. And she points over here and I just see him walking from around the corner towards us and I'm like, oh, shit, shit, because I've just been ignoring all his calls and texts, right? He goes up to me, and I can't even do shit at this point because I'm still in squatting position. He was coming at us so fast, I didn't really have time to stand up. And he goes, So you're just gonna stand there and ignore my calls, huh? And your phone's right there in front of your face, huh? Huh? He smacks the phone right out of my hand. And my phone just flings across the floor. And I'm just like, okay, you know what? What is up with all these guys throwing phones around like it's no big fucking deal? First Brody... Y'all, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. I'm going to put it in, in the I card above. I think it's on this side. So yeah, I'm I'm like in squatting position and then I kind of fall over because I'm trying to get my phone while he's still yelling at me. I'm like, stop! Get the fuck away! Stop! What are you doing? I'm trying to get my balance, trying to stand up and I'm like, 
You need to get the fuck out of here. Leave. Don't come near me. Get the fuck away from me. Don't touch me. At this time, Dimitri comes and he sees like all the commotion. He's like, oh, what's going on? I'm like, you need to get your fucking friend because he just fucking smacked my phone out of my hand. Get your fucking friend and leave. And then Sierra hops in. She's like, your friend just did this thing to Kristen and blah, 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 blah. Like we were just going in. I don't even know what the fuck we were saying. We were just crazy. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. So at this time, we're still waiting for my Uber and I'm still scared. Anytime a guy gets aggressive around me, I my heart starts pumping like real fucking fast and I can't like function So my body was still in shock. My heart was beating like a motherfucker and I'm like, okay I really need to be on the watch for this guy because I'm not trying to die We're waiting for an uber and I'm just ducking in between cars. I'm like, come here. Come here, Sierra Like, can we just duck? Can we just hide behind these cars, please? Like, I'm not and she's not even like freaking out or anything. She's not even moving from where she is. She's just sitting there and I'm like, okay, I'll be over here. I'm just gonna hide between these cars. And comes. Uber finally comes. We get inside the car at this time. And oh. I almost just said his motherfucking name. Evan starts blowing up my phone. So he starts texting me all the shit. I don't even fucking know what he texted me, but he texted me so much, like probably just cussing me out or something. He started calling me. He called me, I swear like 14 to 20 times that's how motherfucking crazy he is like i just fucking met you i don't even know you why are you clingy and like all up in my bubble so i just decided to block his number completely because i was not trying to hear i wanted nothing to do with that boy so after that we go back to the hotel and and we just start kind of like questioning how why this shit happens like why does this why does this shit always happen to me like why me so a couple nights later we go back to hakkasan for some reason we went with a different promoter and um i was like fuck i don't i kind of don't want to go because i don't want to see evan because if you remember that's where he works and that's where i first met him but we decided to go since we were with another promoter nothing like i didn't think anything was gonna happen we went like towards Towards the back of the club where I felt like he wouldn't be so when we were there we didn't see him at all but then we decided to go back into the other room but as you go back into the other room there's a tiny room in the middle where it's just like kind of like a chilling zone where no one it's not a dance floor so no one's in there but it's kind of just like the little hallway where you can pass to go into the other room if that makes sense I was like I kind of don't want to stand out in the open because I don't want to see him but it's fine like what are the odds like I'm not gonna see him again so I'm just standing there and I'm like looking at my nails and then I just hear Sierra say oh shit and I'm like what and I look up and freaking Evan is walking straight up to me and I'm like oh fuck 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 <laughs> and I'm like oh shit okay gotta put my brave face on and he goes right up to my face like this fucking close and he's like what's up and i'm like hi and he's like what are you guys doing here i'm like we're just here with um the other promoter over there and he's like can we talk and i'm like no he's like i just wanted to say i'm sorry for the other night like no i just want you to get out of my face like i'm not trying to hear it you fucked up just get out of my face he goes and talks to that promoter that we came there with so that was the last time i saw him right so that was two years ago tell me why a couple months ago my friends from san francisco came to visit again it was my friend brenda's birthday and so we met a couple of her friends and we were just talking you know girl stuff and then we ended up talking about how guys are crazy and i was like yeah like this one guy his name is evan he's a promoter in vegas he went crazy on my ass and I started telling them the story and stuff, and they're like, holy fuck, that's so crazy. We decided to go to this club in L.A., which is where I live now. Um, I don't know what the club is called, but I think it's around Koreatown. And we were in this club, and it was a motherfucking great-ass time. Like, me and Sierra got super litty. We were dancing all over the place. Like, we were all over the dance floor. We were going from table to table. And um, at the end of the night, we leave the club, and Sierra goes, Tell me why there was a guy in there that looked exactly like Evan. And I'm like, what? <laughs> no. No. He lives in Vegas. No, that can't be him. You're funny. And she was like, yeah, I think so. And I was like, no, I don't think so. So we walk over, and we're standing next to this pillar. And we're standing with um, our friends, waiting for the Uber. And she goes, 
I swear that guy over there looks exactly like Evan. And I was like, what was he wearing? And she was like, he was wearing a hat, some yellow clear shades, and some tropical shirt with palm trees or something. And I'm like, what the fuck? That does not sound like him. Because remember when I first met him, he was wearing like a nice suit and he seemed like all sophisticated and shit. When I was with him in the strip club, he wasn't wearing a suit. He was just wearing like a casual t-shirt and some jeans and some sneakers, right? So I was like, that does not sound like him. That does not sound like his style. And she's like, I swear that was him. And I was like, okay, show me what this guy looks like. And she's like, okay, he's standing over there. So she grabs my hand and walks me over to him. And he's just standing like at a, like on top of a like a plant thing you know how like outside of clubs they have these huge plant these these huge plant pot things right so he was like just leaning against one of those and as we're walking closer i'm like fuck is that him is that him i can't tell because of the shades and the hat and then the shirt sierra goes are you a promoter in vegas he goes yeah and i was like oh shit she goes is your name evan he goes yeah and she was like do you remember us? And he was like, no. She was like, we don't look familiar to you. I'm like, oh shit, shit, no, 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 no. I start walking away. And I'm like, I'm not trying to have this guy recognize me and then shit go to the fan. I look back and Sierra is not following me. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just let her do her thing because I'm not trying to be involved in this. I guess the conversation that they were having was like, um, I guess he asked her, oh, is that your friend Kristen? And she goes, yeah, you remember her? And he goes, yeah, I want to apologize to her. And she's like, I mean, I don't think she's going to want to hear it, but you can try. So he goes and walks towards me. And I'm over here standing with my friends. And I'm just like minding my own business. And then I see him walking up to me. And I'm like, oh, fuck no. So I, as he's getting closer, I walk around the pillar so he doesn't see me. But he obviously, he already saw me. So he starts following me around the pillar. Every time he goes around, I'm like walking more and more. And we make like a, like two loops around this pillar. And he's like, Kristen. And I'm like, what? And he goes, I just wanted to apologize and say I'm sorry. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. He's like, come on. That was so long ago. I just want to say I'm sorry for what I did. And I was like, do you remember what you did to me? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, do you remember smacking the phone out of my hand? He was like, yeah, I'm really sorry. I was like, you can apologize, but I'm not going to accept it. He was like, okay, I just, I just wanted to let you know. And I was like, all right, this is kind of blurry too. So our Uber gets there. So we start walking towards the car and he's following us. I'm like, why are you following us? I think my friend said something or I don't even know what happened. I just remember turning around and then Evan like flinging his arms off like my friend or something like that. He was like, get the fuck off me. And then everyone in the crowd, because there were still a bunch of people outside the club waiting for their rides, everyone started yelling at him and booing him. He started arguing with my friend and I was like, can you guys fucking not? I'm like, this is fucking why I didn't accept your apology. This is why I didn't want anything to have to do with you. This is why I didn't take you serious because of this. You always want to start shit like this. Sierra and my other friend was already in the car and they're like, Kristen, get in the car. Get in the car! And I was still yelling at Evan. I was like, this is why I don't fuck with you. And he's like, Kristen, just get in the car! And I was like, okay, I, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> it was so funny because um, my as my friends left in their Uber, they were like, fuck you, Ethan! And I was like, that's not even his name, but that's so fucking funny. That was the last time I saw him. I hope I don't see his motherfucking face again because I'm about to like punch him in the face. I don't fucking know, but yeah, hopefully I never have to see his face again if I go to Vegas. If I do, I'm gonna just try my best to avoid him. Like, I'm probably not ever gonna go to Hakkasan again. Their music sucks anyway, so yeah. That was the story of the time a Vegas promoter said he loves me and then went cuckoo on my ass. So I don't know why I attract all these crazy men, but I do, and that's my life. If you liked this video, if you thought it was entertaining, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, has anything like this ever happened to you? Do you attract crazy men into your life or is it just me? Because, girl, I'd be attracting them. I don't know. There's Does crazy attract crazy? Is that why I'm attracting crazy ones? I don't know. If you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button if you want to be notified of when I post a new video. But anyway, thank you so much if you stay to the end of this video video. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!